What do you do if there just aren't enough fascists in your universe, Kyle? Uh, 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 make more? Yes. <laughs> Correct. You create was... more. Okay. <laughs> oh, I get it. The show is making fascists. I get I got you now. <laughs> the, 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 I came back from taking a piss, guys, because we just finished watching this god-awful episode. <laughs> so I was caught off guard. <laughs> there, you see, the... The, the Halo creators, they, they had a problem when they were making this TV show. They had a story about humanity fighting against insurmountable odds, an alien invader wanting to wipe them all out and genocide them and blow everything up. But then they thought to themselves, how can we make an action story into a TV show? I just don't know. And so they decided instead to make it about a journey of humanity. Pablo Schreiber finding himself, you see. And for this, the UNSC needs to be more evil. It, they need to be more evil, you see. Which is why we have taken a planet in the lore and we have turned it into a trash management planet where the yep. United Earth government just keeps children as slaves picking through plastic garbage. Oh, remember in that scene, they're like, if you, remember to separate the plastic. If you don't, your work will be doubled or something. Yep. <laughs> your your shit will it's increase. Eco-friendly because they're having them separate the plastics, you know? Hey, don't get me wrong. <laughs> this this is a very realistic um, view of the fascist eco-future, probably, but still. Oh my god. And then we're introduced to two little children who are, because it's 2022, in the midst of exploring their sexuality. I didn't write this shit. Don't blame me. This is this is just the current year. Like we it can't was get away bad. from this. We need to talk about it because it's 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 bad and it needs to be brought up because it's actually it's disturbing. And people like a light needs to be shown on this. The sequence begins with one the the boy reading uh book to a girl and they're like yeah because she's beautiful or something i don't remember i wasn't paying attention because it was sucky and then they they start getting really weird and they're like yeah we should kiss and then these kids are like i don't know they're maybe like six or seven something maybe eight like at most that. and then they like pan in really close to their lips as their lips are like glossing over each other and it's just it's, disgusting it's the goddamn <laughs> meme isn't this like now kiss it was awkward. Oh, and what? then what's great about that, right, is a few minutes later, they kill him. <laughs> yeah, I guess, what is it with progressives in this goddamn topic? But yeah, anyway, the, the two children are hiding in the trash heaps because they're slaves separating trash for the uh, the Earth government because, you know, the Earth government wasn't bad enough. And this is made up out of whole cloth, by the way. This does not yes. exist in Halo lore. We did look up, and I see it when we're watching this. I'm like, this isn't this isn't a thing. This never happened. The United Earth government doesn't have slave labor. They didn't like not on this level, and they didn't like execute children. So we looked up salvaging planets or whatever they called them. Those don't exist. We looked up Oban. It exists in lore. It was introduced in Halo Four or referenced first there, and it was known because it had a research facility on it, and it looks pretty pristine. Uh, we found some concept art of it. It's a clean planet, nice, beautiful mountains, you know. It looks kind of alpine. Really pretty. And, th yeah, it's nothing wrong with the planet. <laughs> but it's a garbage planet, apparently, in the show. Yep. So the, the, the two children do what leftists... I, I'm sorry. You know what? That That's a bit cruel, because most actual proper... I'm, I'm going to drag this in here, because most people on the left aren't like this, but good God, the I progressives... I just finished reviewing Bel Air, like that was yesterday's video, and that too has this... It, it has this incredibly uncomfortable scene with Ashley, the youngest person in the Banks family, going like, I'm very interested in his sexuality, Mr. Progressivist person, please teach me! I can't stop it for... Oh. Anywho, yep. moving on from the creeps. 
The children are then discovered by the, the guard forces, who immediately rush after them and beat one of them to death. We don't know why, it's, it's just, it just happens. It's, it's so, it's so weird, right? There's children, and they see children, and they're like, Quick, get him! And the children run, they catch the little boy at the top of the stairs, he falls to the ground, and then they just pull out their, like, maces and start pounding his face <laughs> yeah. till blood squirts out, and they keep doing it, and the little girl's like, stop it! And they're like, okay, I guess we'll stop being murderers now that you somebody says stop, you know? <laughs> so <that makes> sense. <laughs> and, and so they, they beat the child to death on the trash planet, and <laughs> none of this is, none of this is happening for a reason. It's it is literally just so that the girl can can be rescued by the elite of the Covenant so that she can become the Covenant's pet human. This is literally only set up to make us believe that this woman would now rub, yeah, I'm fine with killing humans, you know, they treated me kind of shit back in the day. Best part is the aliens come up to her after, you know, killing some, which is okay, it's weird. So. There, there's like a device, they're using a device, they don't explain the device, the device finds the thing that their covenant are searching for, which so happens to be her, which is weird because I don't know why it would be her, what about her is unique or special in any way, because in Halo lore, humans can interface with Forerunner technology because the Forerunners basically m made it so that we can inherit what they built when we, when we rise from the ashes of what came before. We are the inheritors, or whatever the hell it's called, the reclaimers. We're there to reclaim all the lost stuff and inherit the mantle. So, that doesn't exist in this story because only key characters can interface with Covenant, or not Covenant, sorry. Only key characters, two characters, in the entire galaxy can interface with Forerunner tech. That weird Car Mary Sue bitch and Pablo. Yes, and Pablo. The, the people whom There's the plot demands. Ugh... It's... Which isn't how that works. Oh, it bothers me. Only, uh, humans can interface with Forerunner technology. Not weird plot essential characters. That's so weird. The entire thing exists purely just to drag mud onto the name of the, the human government. To drag them down into the dirt and lessen them so that it's okay to, to kill them. And, and make that the focus of the story. Not to mention, too, a... A, a reclamation planet? A, a scrap planet? How... Stupid is that? Do you have any idea the amount of energy that would be required to transport scrap metal into orbit? Then move it to a separate planet to recycle it and then transport it back? It's, it's so uh, dumb. I hate it so much. I, it, this is the problem with a lot of science fiction people that write these things or don't understand science fiction. They don't understand how big a f***ing planet is, right? You wouldn't need to set up a dedicated recycling planet because, well, there would be no need for that. Every planet is huge. Each planet should be able to take care of itself. The fact that they're dedicated, my dedicated recycling facility where we beat slaves. <laughs> it's so dumb. And of course, th this continues on, right? Because. We need to make the humans evil, because that's the entire point of this. The humans need to be evil so that we can focus all of our drama on the humans rather than the genocidal alien monsters. And so the clone, Cortana, she was she was created purely so that Halsey could kill her in a creepy manner. That is the entire reason for the Cortana clone. The, in the lore, she's, she's just an AI. She's just a brain scan. They skip that here just so we can go like, oh, humans are really bad in this strange universe. Why do people like Halo? It's just, they're so mean. Kyle, why do, why do people like Halo? They're fascists. Look at them. How dare they? They like a game where a fucking power armor dude kills aliens? Ugh, the aliens are misunderstood, actually. <laughs> we are unironically heading in that fucking path, aren't we? Oh, it's so bad. There's so many things. Don't worry. Oh, God. We're going to be here all day. Uh, uh, should we just follow her plot and just finish her story? Because the show is a little. The show has three different story arcs running at the same time. It's really convoluted and it's a mess. I'm sorry, four. I can't count. Well, we, we've got Pablo <laughs> in his journey to find himself and to avoid wearing the Master uh, Chief helmet as much as humanly possible. We've got the the weird ass bicycle helmet haircut Korean girl who's in the midst of reconquering her planet from her evil 
<laughs> evil uncle or whatever the hell. Um, then we've got Covenant Chick, who's looking for the Keystone whilst hating on humans. And um, then there's Cortana got... and Halsey doing their nonsense stuff. Oh, we have a fifth one. There's the other girl, Governor Admiral Lady. The other She's girl doing her own thing. Him or him. With Miranda. Miranda Keys. Miranda oh, yeah, Keys is running her thing, too. By the way, Dr. Halsey and Captain Keys, they bred that Miranda into existence. Mm. And by the way, don't that's why she's brown. We now know that. By the way, they they are pushing the interracial thing a lot. They I've really noticed that are. For, like every sequence with the Master Chief in the background, like at first you're like, yeah, whatever, you know. You know, people love each other, that's fine. People want to make babies, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. But the fact that like every they're like focusing in like, wow, look at these two kids. Okay. <laughs> They're pushing the sexuality child aspect. Like, I have to ask myself constantly, like, is this Halo? Like, what is this? This isn't even Halo. There's no Master Chief. There's no Cortana. There's no Covenant. It's just a bunch of weird progressive messages that have been front loaded into a show that is barely, like, pretending to be about science fiction anymore. Like, what was science fiction about this piece of shit episode? Like, I don't even know. I'm just so mad. Like, none of it made any sense. It's all just a friggin' mess. And don't even get me started on the the boarding scene. Oh, this is, uh. oh yeah. That's, that's a part of the, the pet Covenant woman. So a giant Covenant <laughs> ship pops out of the warp. Well, I'm just going to call it that. Slip space. Warp. <laughs> right next to a to a UNSC frigate or a destroyer Gladius I think it was a frigate or something Gladius it's really tiny it's yep. a tiny little frigate right next to it they see it from the view screen which means it's a couple hundred meters away like it's it's collision distance and one of the bridge could go like oh captain um, it seems to be uh, dead in the water uh, immobile it just exited slip space, you fucking raider. <laughs> it's like, no engine reading. That's weird. Oh, it's weird. It's clearly a fucking trap. <laughs> You're like, hey, oh, we're in a distress signal. Help, I'm the only survivor. <laughs> the Covenant, they just they just left the ship, all of them. They all escape potted and they left, they left me. And I know how to pilot the ship somehow. They, they left in slip space. Is that what you want to say, you stupid cunt? Like, they can't just <laughs> exit the space. escape pods in fucking slip space! <laughs> uh, and then the, the humans go, like, okay, well, um, we'll send a rescue pod, uh, which they do. They, uh, they, they don't bother scanning it. They don't keep it outside of their ship, uh, you know, to bring aboard marines. Yeah, uh, they just, just just bring it right in, and they get boarded by. Yeah, that was that was dumb. So the first thing the Marines would do in the case of rescue, uh, in this in this case, at least based on the Halo lore that I know, they would have sent a team over to go extract the girl or whoever the survivors were. They wouldn't send over an escape pod by itself to be just attach itself and be boarded, and then not scan it because it doesn't have remote sensors or anything or cameras or anything. You know, no they would cameras. send over a team extract the girl, then they'd bring her aboard the ship, then they would exfiltrate back to the ship, then they would decontaminate the ship, blah blah blah. But no, no, no. They descended over there so that a hunter, a single hunter, which by the way, uh, which is a, for those who don't know, is a colony of worms and forms of sentient beings, sort of. It splinters itself apart, which is something that they can do, I think. Not 100% certain. But, um, and then they attack the crew of the frigate. And somehow... One hunter worth of worms, which is, it's a fair few worms, wipes out an entire frigate and its complement. Which it, are already it does armed it. and prepared. <laughs> and the, the, they, they do it so fast that the crew has no chance to react. They can't close the doors. They can't close the air vents. They can't, can't hermetically seal the ship. No, the, the hunters reach the bridge before anything can be done. Yep, they reach the bridge, they kill the entire crew, despite the crew being armed and on alert, mind you. They were on alert. Marines had their gear on, weapons armed, they were ready to repel borders if need be, 
they were ready, loaded, aimed at the door entrance, everything that you would need to be procedure-wise, and the worms just overrun the ship because, of course, they do. They would not. They would not. That's so stupid. It hurts me. Not to mention, right, the UNSC ship doesn't initialize the self-destruct or anything. It lets itself basically get slowly taken over by, uh, like, maybe a thousand or a hundred worms or so. And the entire crew just all die to worms, even though they're shooting them. But they're missing, of course they are. And the ship does at least purge its data, data which is one thing that they own. The only thing that they did, quote-unquote, right. But it's such a blithering... It's just, it was awful. Her entire arc is terrible. Every time I see that bitch on screen, I'm like, God, what is Mary Sue going to do next? <laughs> By the way, um, she, who has... She, she was raised as a slave on a garbage planet, and has been raised yep. ever since on Covenant ships, has no problems hacking in oh. to a military warship. Yep, I, I almost forgot. She's she's never interfaced with human technology, she's just an un, a child who was raised by Covenant. Covenant, who, speaking of, are very much caste system, right? So the engineer class, or the engineer race, I forget what they're, they're called, they handle all the machinery and stuff like that. They don't let the other races do things, they sort of just separate them into different castes, and so they sort of deal with their own shit. So, this Maka chick, I can't remember her name, somehow is an engineer and is totally capable of interfacing with technology and stuff like that, but she's also able to disassemble the bridge and, like, just do whatever she wants with it because she's never you know she's never really inter she hasn't even dealt with a human pop can machine let alone a fucking military grade bridge oh it's so bad she knows everything everything she's just perfect little goody two-shoe can't do no wrong and just to hammer home the point after she's finished doing all of this the ship purges its data core and the entire thing the, the entire boarding of this frigate, all of it, pointless. <laughs> it was a pointless scene. None of this nothing, happened. Nothing mattered. The characters on the ship didn't matter. Oh, wait, no. The one thing that did matter was the intercepted the comms frequency. The UNSC base at Madrigal, where they're like, oh, that's saying Healy. And that's, that's all they pretty much said. Yep. <laughs> oh... Her story sucks. This show sucks. I hate this show. <sighs> what else we got? Oh, um, K Korean chick. Um, uh, she. I need to reconquer my planet by myself. Uh, it's fine. It's it's okay. Um, because you know her her evil. The evil person has taken over from her father, so she needs to lead La Resistance, and she needs to. Uh, convince John's uh, black friend to uh, to do this, and he's just like, no, I'll never do this. And one scene later, oh, you tried to steal my ship? Well, I guess we're going then. I remember. That was the halfway point in this episode. I hovered my mouse over because Barch and I were making whingy sounds like we normally do, right? And it was only halfway over. This one was, I don't know, it's it's really dragging its heels. I and the worst part about that whole sequence with her is right when it pans back to her in the little elevator thing, Arch and I both go like, God damn it. We're like, the story's got to shoehorn her back into the plot. She's not interesting. She's the least interesting character in all these stories combined, including the Maka bitch. Uh... It's, it's so simple. It's so goddamn simple. You make a Halo show, and you show me Master Chief shoot people. That's all Literally. you needed to do. Like, they could have just, if they wanted to make it more complex, they could have, like, followed some UNSC characters and be like, look, this is a human marine group, or this is a captain of a ship, you know, fighting the Covenant. Anything! Master Anything with actual Halo shit in it. Master Chief hasn't even touched a gun in the last two episodes. I can't remember. I don't even remember. Like, 90% like of this episode, he's just walking around fucking talking and he won't shut his goddamn mouth oh <laughs> it, it's just it's pablo pablo shriver is walking around and that's okay let's move then the cortana storyline okay cortana's oh. clone was created just so we could go like oh, how are they so mean and then pablo was like hey i know your place woman and oh yeah cortana's sitting there with giant dough why is, why is everyone so mean to me 
Oh, uh, so Halsey cloned herself, Flash cloned herself to make the Cortana thing, right? Which is dumb. Uh, she then has a conversation with it, and it's like, I'm a person, and she's like, yeah, but I'm, I do, I'm gonna kill you. And then they kill her, and then the show is weird about it, and the weird doctor dude's like, I want to kiss her before she dies. But, <laughs> you know, he gets, he gets caught, so he stops. <laughs> that's the, and then she dies. I want to point out, the, the creepy doctor leaning in to kiss Halsey's clone, that's the closest we've gotten to a regular straight relationship so far. <laughs> It's 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 a portrayed as creepy because it's a white on white kiss. It, it's it creepy. Kind of it's feels awkward. like it. It's just weird. This is some weird propaganda shit, guys. Like I'm not kidding. This show, ass, ass cancer. <laughs> and when she becomes Cortana, she's like, oh, why 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 I'm not in charge of Master Chief? It's like because Pablo Schreiber needs to be in the in the TV oh. series. Oh I'm God, sorry. you reminded me. So Cortana's. Cortanas are made to control the Spartans. So they're going to take over the Spartans' bodies and they'll be better at it. This whole subplot thing is really dumb. Except, of course, Halsey can't do that because the MacGuffin exists, so they need to interact with the MacGuffin because the MacGuffin only responds to Pablo when he's fully Pablo. Yep. The, you mean the magic space triangle? Yes, the, the MacGuffin can only be touched by Pablo. <laughs> like, if, if Cortana goes, like, I'm in control of Pablo now, the MacGuffin turns off. Yep. And Pablo is so enamored with this MacGuffin that he he, he cuts out his, his pellets, the chip that controls all of his emotions, which is just sitting loose in his butt, by the way. We go from a scene where he's like, oh my, that's weird. And then he's naked in the shower, trying, shoving a knife into his ass. Like, holy, it's, it's so jarring. Yeah, it was pretty bad. The show's pacing is all over the place. Like this shit is sloppy. There's no respect for the source material. There's zero respect for storytelling as a fucking whole. This whole thing is a disaster. And the worst part is there's more episodes after this. <laughs> I mean, this isn't even slow pace. Like, the most action-y moment of this episode was when a bunch of UNSC marines ineffectively fire into thin air and get killed by goddamn gummy worms. Little tiny worms. The hunter which disassembles itself and makes itself weaker by doing that? Yeah. Okay. Which wipes out the entire crew. Oh, that, that bothers me so much. It's literally weaker now because of that. Uh, uh. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So K Cortana <laughs> helps Chief because Halsey's like, you need, to, you need to make him trust you, which Pablo does in about five minutes, mind you, too. He's super skeptical to this AI, but then the AI says, oh, I'll help you take out your pebble. And after that, he trusts her. It's fine. We're, we're, be we're best buddies now. And now they know that uh, he, he, he remembers he's had a family uh, on, a, on a desert world, on a barren world with uh, trees and... God damn it. Trees and shit, I guess. Oh, but don't worry, it was a planet with ice rings. Also, the planet wasn't a real planet because they had to make a biodome and the biodome got the poison and the poison killed all the people. Who made the poison? Oh, who knows? Probably Dr. Holsey. <laughs> And the, oh my God. the bigger MacGuffin lies buried there, you see, because the MacGuffin we have now is but a baby MacGuffin. The baby MacGuffin must be inserted into the larger MacGuffin to become the MacGuffin Mark II, I guess. Oh, yeah, Pablo has an abusive white dad. I oh, forgot that about too, that. yeah. <laughs> it, it this seems is the like... race shit is pulling. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Pablo's dad forced him to kill his dog and bury it in the yard, which is like, god damn it. Or something like that. And he's like, he's like, don't do it, Jared, I'll beat you again. And I was like, okay. <laughs> this shit sucks. Yes. It's so weird. <laughs> it's only going to get worse from here on out. <laughs> And Pablo does not wear his helmet even at one point in this entire episode. Not, not once. He puts on his armor in the end to touch Halsey's arm and talk to her in private about something. That's, That's something, true. I guess. 
He's like, oh, I'm in my armor. But you have no idea how much they had to nag me to get into this thing. I just want to walk around in casual clothing because Pablo has no respect for Halo. The fact that he took this goddamn job and re refuses to wear the helmet, get that bastard off the show. I, I hate that. Disrespectful douche. Ugh. Oh. And all the other Spartans, oh, they're all wearing, they're all just walking around talking and being normal. Like, it's just terrible. It's demystified Spartans. Oh, it's so bad. They're just dude in plastic armor now. I would just wear my plastic, I'm um, a plastic person. Plastic, plastic soldiers. I just wish oh, they'd these... shoot something. I just... <laughs> Please just shoot something. The only thing they're going to start shooting is each other, because this plot is such a piece of sh it's i'm so i'm getting worked up the whole thing is trash but the fact that the focus of the story is mostly on the human interconflict is the lamest thing i've ever seen i hate it where's the covenant where's the human covenant war what's f where's the war in general it's just shitty planets shitty cgi cortana's uncanny valley face cortana's design is awful in this show gig every time I see that monstrosity on screen. See, uh, you bring up a good point, too. Like, if you just watched episode two and three, you'd have no idea there was a war going on. Yeah. It, like, there's, like, I feel no sense of urgency. The Covenant now are waging a genocidal war against humanity. Humanity is losing in the lore, mind you, not the shit show. Uh, and it's just, you know, tooth and nail, bloody fighting, right? This show, I I forgot there was Covenant in it. <laughs> They're oh. side characters. They, do, they pop up on occasion going like, hello, did you remember us? No. And the CGI for them is awful too. I hate it. The CG looks, it's it's very bad. It's all in the uncanny. The prophets, the more I look at them, the more I'm like, they just look weird. Cortana definitely has broken me of the CG crap in the show. Because I'm pretty sure she's CG altered. Her face looks weird and wrong. She's altered to look more like Halsey, basically. And the thing is, the, the extended jaw looks very weird on her. It's... She's just on the wrong side of Uncanny Valley. And the problem, too, is she is displayed as a full-sized human all the time. Like, she's yeah, never palm-sized Cortana. That's true. Most time Master Chief holds his hand, little Cortana appears in his hand. She's always just full-sized walking around. Because <laughs> the show's too cheap to even do the little effects it takes to make her a little hologram. That's so true. I... I'm so mad at so many things my brain can't handle anymore. <laughs> There's got to be a queue now. There's got to be a uh, queue. A queue of things to rage at. Wait, the worst this part show is, too, is bad. The entire show is revolving around MacGuffin. We still don't what? even know what MacGuffin is. <laughs> thing that we are just told MacGuffin is incredibly powerful. How? What, what does oh. MacGuffin do? What uh, is MacGuffin? It's time to upset you, Arch. It was made 100,000 years ago. It predates humans. Oh, yes. It's, it's 100,000 <laughs> year old. It predates humanity. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> wow. Oh, the scientist said that, too. That's the best part. <laughs> it predates humans and maybe even carbonate. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> humanity has only existed within 100,000 years, Jan. We've not, we've, we've not been around that long, apparently. Ignore everything about, you know, any sort of fossils, any sort of, you know, ruined civilizations. Nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. 100,000 years. That's cool. That's all we got. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just... It's... There, there's slow starters, right? Because some slow... Some slow... Ugh, English. Some shows want to have a slow burn, build up characters. All right. The show isn't doing that. I still have no idea what the story is beyond what I'm being told the story is. MacGuffin is powerful. We must find MacGuffin. Why must we find MacGuffin? What is what is the objective of finding MacGuffin? Is it, is it a weapon? Will it make the army better? Is it a power source? What is MacGuffin? It's, it's powerful. Okay. I mean, the Covenant have a reason because they know what MacGuffin is. Or, well, they claim to know what that MacGuffin is mapped to rings, which they want the rings. But humanity has no concept of any of this garbage. 
I mean, hell, Pablo Schreiber is only chasing this thing because he saw a dog. Like, ah, pupper. Yeah, that was dumb. Oh man, I feel like we've missed stuff. I feel like I feel like we've hit most of it. Let me just hover my mouse over. Oh god, it this probably felt terrible. a lot longer than it was. I I was hate. I was just sitting there bored out of my mind because so. Pablo's journey to becoming a human is done in the most artsy partsy way imaginable where he just slowly walks and he looks around and there's humans and he looks up at the sky and going like where cgi well incredible yeah i wish i they, don't know i wish they'd throw in something crazy at this point okay so of course he's he's on the bus or whatever the hell it is trading something and he sees yeah. an interracial couple because it's 2022 and it's the halo tv show and I was just sitting there pr praying to myself, like, please, Pablo, just be like, oh, I'm a white supremacist now. Damn. Just something. <laughs> just throw in a curveball or something to just to, to shock me out of my repose as I sit there, leant back in the chair, like, just, oh, go on. <laughs> Walk faster, Pablo. Walk faster. Uh, it was the most it was somehow more, I don't know, was it more boring? Like, there was more plot stuff happening, but I found myself hating this more than I hated episode two. It's because I Because am, the writing's so bad. <laughs> I am so utterly disconnected from all of these characters, like Quan. I don't give a shit about Quan. <laughs> I'm Who do you give a shit rebellion. about? Because that's the better question. Who the f do you even care about in this shitty story? I don't care about anything. Like, I figured I'd give a shit about, you know, the main character, Master Chief, but no, that's just I can't Pablo Schreiber. Him. Like, it's just Pablo. Like, we literally said that when we were watching, like, oh, look, it's Pablo again. Yep, it's Pablo. Oh, uh, hey, Pablo, how you doing? God, it'd be nice if the show had Master Chief references in it or something. You know? who, who else am I supposed to care about? <laughs> what? Soren, who's like, oh, we got in a delivery of like 42 chickens. I, I'm going to eat one of these. Like, oh, yes, on your asteroid fortress, which is overflowing with resources, I'm sure. You're, you're not going to raise the chickens. You're not going to breed them. You're not going to get them for eggs. You're just going to, you're just going to eat the chicken. I'm going to eat this chicken now because I'm short-sighted dumb as fuck. This is me off. <laughs> sure. Like, it's... It's the fact that the, the the writers of this have no idea how to world build at all. You are an asteroid fortress. Everyone is dirty and poor and ragged. And you're like, oh yeah, no, this this is a source of food. This is a source of more chickens. I'm just gonna eat it. And just like the waste planet, it is the it is somebody who has no idea what science fiction is, just being like, it would be kinda cool if the black person was like, I'm gonna eat the chicken. Did it because he's black, therefore he likes chicken. Oh my god, these writers are racist. Figured it out. <laughs> That's right. funny. Okay, who who else is there to care about? Um, uh, uh, Cortana. Okay, well she's dead now, and now we have other blue Cortana. <laughs> it's just, uh, he's off. Well, hold on. The other girl was just a Flash clone. Now we have Cortana. Cortana the AI. Yeah. And this Cortana's boring. I want to go away. <laughs> this Cortana's entire character so far is is looking dumbfounded and whining. Uh, Doctor, why don't I have access? Uh, Master Chief, why are you being so mean to me? Uh, should I really unlock the door? Oh, yeah. I, I don't want to help you, but I'm here to help you if you have a need. I don't want to help you, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, oh, Pablo, I see you're kind of shit at using Google. Want me, do you want me to search things for you? Look, I'm better using search keywords than you. Literally, literally what she said, basically. I'm better at using the keywords than you are. It's like, wow, you're better at Googling. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Holsey, Holsey's just evil. That's her character trait now. What is she doing that's interesting? She's unlocking MacGuffin. Okay, well, if I cared about MacGuffin, maybe I'd care about Halsey, but I don't even know what MacGuffin is. It's a triangle. Uh, it does stuff. <laughs> Whatever the plot needs, really. <laughs> the other Spartans? More helmetless Spartans. Hmm. That works so well in the new Halos. They're nope. 
<laughs> none of these characters have any investment. I have no investment in any of them. I don't know any of them. There are too many of them with too little plot. Like, this is... If you truly wanted to do Master Chief's journey, right? If that was going to be the key of your fl plot, what you should have done is you should have had Pablo Schreiber, you should have Dr. Holsey, and, and and Cortana, and maybe one touchstone character like the black black kid who you know prints the little smiley face on him. Full stop. Four characters, tops, and the storyline should be about Pablo Schreiber looking into the cam camera and looking all starry eyed and wonderful, like uh, music. My soul, it aches. I oh. like how oh, the writers, okay. The writers of this, of this show are hacks and garbage, right? So how do the character build Master Chief, right? For when he get, finds his humanity again. He walks around and looks all starry-eyed, like you said. He walks to music, hears cla generic classical music, and is like, wow, that's really thought-provoking. And then... <laughs> That's basic. That's basically like the writer's like, "Yep, we developed him as a character now. Now he's a person." Like, oh wow, that's so lame. And the best part too is, <laughs> when Pablo removes his pellet, he's the exact same person. Yep. His facial his facial expression doesn't change in the slightest. His speech pattern doesn't change in the slightest. He's still just dead-eyed Pablo. Walking around. Dead-eyed Pablo. I, I, would, theme song. I would almost prefer the painful cliche of a single tear running down his cheek as he sees the pupper. The pupper's like, woof. And he's like, oh my god. I had a dog once it's, too. It's cute, dude. <laughs> the woman who owns like the that. dog just looks at him like, man, you're creepy. Um, Can I help you? It's like, can I have pupper again? <laughs> snaps her neck because <laughs> he's gone full psycho because he's like got crazy military training <laughs> i mean hell i would have appreciated that just pablo doing something weird just i the plot don't drags worry it's ass so bad cortana's gonna be here and she'll be the quirky side to master chief just like the video games that you all know and love yeah. except now it's pablo and weird weird person tana Yay! <laughs> She'll provide us all with witty commentary. It's like, hey, Cortana, how about you spend the next hour learning about humanity? What will I do with the other 54 minutes? Uh, now that I've done it. And you're like, uh, 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 so funny, writer. <laughs> what a clever oh. clip, sir. Oh, I'm mucho caro. <laughs> Oh, man. I can't wait for episode four. It's going to be even worse somehow. <laughs> We're three hours into the Halo TV show now, and... It's bad. I don't care about any of these characters. I don't even know what the plot is at this point. Yeah. The writers... The writers... Oh, okay. So, like, I love stories that have multiple storylines with different characters doing different things in the world. Like Lord of the Rings, where Frodo's off doing an adventure, you know, while the other party's off trying to rally the, you know, the forces of good against Mordor. And that's really cool. Here, there's like five different character movements with different story arcs going on. And every single one of them is about as dull and dry as a potato that's been sitting out in the sun for too long. It's just bad. None of it's interesting. I would rather them focus on a one story because these writers can't do... They, I don't think they could do one story, honestly. But certainly five different story arcs going on at the same time is... Like, it's just a mess. The entire episode's a mess. The pacing's awful. We're jump-cutting it over things that aren't explained. Like, for example, when Arch mentioned the, the him cutting out the thing on his back from just like, oh, I need to know what planet it is. And then later he's like, I'm performing surgery on myself. It's like, that's a bit abrupt. Like, the pacing is wrong. There's not enough screen time for these stories to be fleshed out, or the characters. Yeah, it's trying to compact it all into one tiny thing. But even even ignoring all that, right? This shit isn't Halo. Nothing about this is Halo. And anyone who tells you otherwise is a hack and a liar. Like, what do you do? Like, what do you do when <laughs> your Halo TV show is SJW propaganda with some bad CG sprinkled into it. Yeah, it was... It could have been so easy. It, it could have been. It could have been so easy. Just just have Master Chief, not Pablo Schreiber, Master Chief, 
shooting aliens. Just like the video games. That's it. I don't even care. I don't even want to start. Just show him shooting stuff. That could be good enough for me at this point. <laughs> I'd be happy to just have him shoot stuff. Like, just make pew pew noises. <laughs> at least then I'll know what the plot is. Aliens bad. Green person they've, good. They've demasculated Chief. Because remember, now he's a, he's a white character. So we gotta demasculate him. See, that's the problem I have with the show. Like, he's, he's now lame. He's uninteresting. He's weak. He's pathetic. He's boring. He's just a normal person now. And Quan, the true hero of the show. And Maka, the other true female hero of the show. You see the reoccurring themes in this show? Like, it's... it's it's not. It's beyond just being like that's a little bit weird. To yeah, that's what it's doing. He's just Pablo. Pom Pablo. I don't care about Pablo. Get the fuck out of here, Pablo. I, Go away. I came to see Master Chief. Could I have exactly. Master Chief, please? Yeah, Pablo, get the fuck out. Like, oh, terrible. <sighs> no yeah. respect for the source material. I hate it. Mm. Put on the helmet, my dude. Put on the goddamn helmet. Ah, oh, mm. you. That was, it was, was. This was a long episode too, and it was. It felt even longer as we were sitting there just sighing our way through this, hoping something would happen, anything would happen, and nothing did. Nothing. Well, actually, did. no. Nothing of substance. I mean, th this entire episode existed for no reason. Now we've finally gotten to the point where, okay, we're going to go find MacGuffin. Where we are finally going to have a convergence of characters, maybe. And all of their story arcs will combine into a big, pointless thing that I don't care about. Like, Quan and Covenant Pet will meet each other, and Quan will be like, Covenant Pet, wow, you've got Covenant. Uh, can you help me liberate my planet from the bad person? The evil white man, mind you. It's a white leader. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you notice the reoccurring shit, though? <laughs> There's too many things here. I think I've sniffed out the truth here, and I don't like it. At least maybe there'll be some shooting. I'll enjoy it if there is some shooting. Yeah, but it'll be shit shooting, like episode one. Yeah, but at least it'll be shooting. I just want shooting. That's just don't yeah true true less characters talking because i the words that come out of their mouth are dumb and not interesting more shooting and nothing of value happening thank you Please. more pew pew less speaky yeah basically <laughs> more... <laughs> oh. oh god well i <sighs> All we can do is pucker our little buttholes and prepare ourselves for yet another episode. God damn it, just... The next one needs to shoot something. Hey, at least they, they answered our prayers in that this one was at least bad. That's something. That's true. It wasn't just boring. I was actually upset at a few scenes. That's true. They, they managed to make me care about it, which is alarming. Because I was actually mad about the Covenant scene and the boarding scene. That was so dumb. <laughs> As it should be. As it should be. Alright. Until next week again, thank you all very much for listening, and, uh... Don't watch Halo. It's not very good. Yep.